The new version of Windows 11 is out, 22H2, and if you're a Mac user on an M1 chipset, you'll want to watch this video because there's a couple things you need to know. So I'm currently running Windows 11 as a virtual machine on my Mac M1 Mini. What I'm going to do is if I was to go into the software update, it would not allow me to update the ARM64 version of Windows 11 to the new version. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Microsoft Edge, I'm going to go to the Windows support site, and I'll put a link down below for that. And I'm actually, well, let's first of all go and download the installation uh, assistant. So we're going to have a look here. And if I open up this file, you'll see that it's going to tell me that I cannot run Windows, the install or the, I cannot run installation assistant on this type of device, the virtual machine. So I can't install the new version of Windows 11 using the tools that are built into my existing virtual machine. So what did I do? I created a brand new virtual machine. And when I created the new virtual machine, you'll notice that it's running Windows 11 22H2. And you'll notice that my older original virtual machine is running Windows version 21H2. So this is running the older version of Windows 11, and this is running the new version of Windows 11. And if I go into Windows Update on the old machine, check for updates, it's going to tell me that I'm up to date. It's not going to give me the option of downloading the new version. And if I go to my new machine and check Windows Update, of course, it's also going to say that I'm running the most current version. So this is a bit of a glitch if you're running a virtual machine in a Mac M1 environment. That ARM system, that ARM64 version of Windows 11 22H2, you're going to install a brand new virtual machine in order to get access to it. Even if I was to go in here and use the ISO, the ISO won't work on the old machine because it won't be recognized by the old machine. It won't allow me to install it and so I will not be able to get those updates. I'm sure that'll be fixed at some point in the future, but there is actually a few benefits, or there are a few benefits to installing a fresh new virtual machine, especially around things such as security. On the new virtual machine, if I go into privacy and security, and I go into Windows security, I'll then go into my um, app security, app and browser control, you'll notice that I have smart app control settings. I'm able to go in and protect my system from unsigned and unverified apps. So this feature is currently in evaluation mode where it goes through, it learns and sees. It doesn't really get in my way in terms of blocking a lot of apps. I can turn it on and that means that any untrusted apps will not be able to run on my system or I can turn it off if I want. This is very similar to what we're used to if we're a Mac user, where we can go into the security and we have to verify certain applications in order to be able to run on our system. This is not available on earlier versions of Windows. If you go into privacy and security here, and you go into Windows security, and you go into app and browser control, you'll notice that there is no ability for you to go in and do smart app control. It's not an option in the earlier versions of Windows. In fact, even if I was to upgrade this version of Windows, it would not give me app security you, or smart app control. You would need to have a fresh installation of Windows 11 in order to get that smart app control. So now that you have the new version of Windows 11, check out this video on one of the features that I think is super cool and check out this playlist for different features as they get released. Thanks for watching.